Many team members will be unclear about their career aspirations. You are about to watch a career conversation between Chloe, a team leader at an underwriting centre, and Craig, a trainee underwriter. Craig is band one and therefore does not have a potential rating, but like all employees, he has the opportunity to discuss his career aspirations at the mid-year PDR. The team leader uses questions to enable the team member to reflect on their strengths and weaknesses, likes and dislikes, motivations and the success factors that will help them clarify their career aspirations. So we have covered your performance and your success factors. It is clear that you're doing a great job and you're well on track to meet your objectives this year. Thanks, yeah, this year is going really well for me. Yeah, indeed. Um, I noticed that when completing the PDR template, you left the career section blank. Now, it's okay not to want promotion, but we should use this opportunity to discuss your thoughts of, about your career. Yeah, I guess so. I will be completely open-minded about what career options you're considering. Um, please use me as your sounding board. Yeah, um, I've been thinking about this a lot, and uh, I, I haven't yet clarified how I want my career to develop. Uh, I can't even get things clear in my mind. Okay, um, that's not uncommon, especially when people are starting out in their career. Um, so, so what first thoughts have you had? And please be honest, that's the only way I can support you properly. It's my first job. Yeah. Uh, I really like it, but I'm not sure if I can see myself doing this forever. Uh, thank you for saying that. It can be difficult when you don't have a lot of work experience to think about your future career. I, I asked myself the same question earlier in my career. I believe there are some things that you can do to help you clarify, some questions you can ask yourself. Uh, just let me check. Um, what thoughts have you had so far? Uh, not many. <laughs> I just keep going around in circles. Uh, have you spoken to anyone else? Uh, me and my friends, we talk about it a lot. Um, there's a lot of pressure to keep moving forwards. They're always talking about job opportunities and Yes. Um, some of the questions I'm now going to ask you will help you to see a way to move forward. First, let's think about your current role as a trainee underwriter. What do you like most about your work? Uh, I enjoy the analysis side of things. Yeah. Um, oh, and meeting the brokers, of course. That's great. Uh, tell me more. What do you like about that? Uh, I really like the idea of doing things that make a difference to the business as a whole. Uh, like helping Hiscox make more money. Um, and as you know, I'm always coming up with ideas to make us more efficient. Uh, and I know it sounds a bit corny, but I like the idea of doing things that matter. Yes, that's great. Um, let's remind ourselves now about what we discussed earlier about your success factors. Can you please summarize what you think you're particularly good at? Uh, I would say optimizes work processes first then uh, interpersonal savvy. Yeah, any others? Uh, a customer focus, uh, definitely improving with every broker visit. Well, Craig, um, we've now spent about two minutes talking about what motivates you, what interests you, and what you're particularly good at. So, what are you thinking now? <laughs> well, with your motivation, your interest, your skills, there are several avenues within Hiscox that might be worth considering. Underwriting is where you're at the moment, um, but what about claims? Business analysis? Operations? But I, I don't know anything about any of those. What did you know about underwriting a year ago? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, really. Well, we've got claims and operations in this building. Would it help to meet up with some people who work in these departments and learn more about what they do? Yeah, but I, I, I don't know anybody in the other teams, so... Um, I can arrange for you to meet the right people and have a chat if you're interested. If it goes well and you think you might want to know more, I can arrange for a half day's shadowing. That's a great way to experience what a different job is like. I would also like you to go onto the Success Factory and take an e-learn called Managing Your Career. There is some great advice in there and also some further questions you can ask yourself to help narrow down your options further. 
Yeah, sure. I think, uh, I think I'm starting to see how this can help get things clear in my mind. Um, but what if, after, after all this, uh, I still decide to stick with underwriting? That's fine. Oh. The important thing is for you to have found out about all these other things. It will make you confident that you're making the right choice. Yeah, thank you. Right. Now, what I would like you to do is write this up in the career section of your PDR template. Please summarise the steps that you're going to take to help you clarify your career goals. I would like this plan to also reflect development of your current role, so please add complete e-learn about the APC products by the end of Q3 and attend the Sales Passport 2 workshop by the end of Q4. That will help you to keep moving forward in your current role. I mean, after all, you might decide that underwriting is the right path for you. Okay, thank you.